Namaste, friends. I'm Heather Wiest with Love, Serve, Inspire, and today I'm going to be guiding you through a sweet psoas and shoulder all level slow flow. So we're going to be working the psoas muscle. It's a real deep muscle in the hip flexor that connects into the lower back. We'll be strengthening through the gluteus medius and the outer hips. And we're going to be opening and strengthening the shoulders through internal and external rotation of the arms. For today's practice, if you have props at home, we'll be using two blocks, a strap, and a blanket. If you do not have props, no worries. A bath or beach towel will work great, as well as maybe a thick book for a block. I am here to guide you but you are always your best teacher. So remember to listen to your body, stay safe, and have fun. We're gonna begin our session today in Virasana Hero's Pose. If this pose does not feel comfortable on your knees or just doesn't work for your body, feel free to take any other comfortable seated position. So I'm gonna be taking my block, you can also fold over that towel that you may have to create a little lift. And I'm gonna go ahead and hug in the ankles to the block and I'm gonna bring my seat down to the block. You can always be on two blocks or you can lift the seat up and bring a blanket to help cushion the heels. So finding Virasana Hero's Pose or any other seated position. We're gonna go ahead and close the eyes if it's comfortable for you, grounding the palms down We'll take a nice deep inhale in and let it go through the mouth. Another deep inhale and long exhale. And I want you to think about the five most beautiful things in your world right now the five most beautiful things in your world right now. They could be precious people, prized possessions, powerful words or symbols or meaningful moments. Just letting it come to the heart and the mind. Feeling it in your body and soul. Just bringing in the collective intention today of seeking beauty. No matter what circumstances are going on around us or in us, just keeping our eyes on things that are beautiful that we are grateful for. And now bringing in any other personal intentions you'd like to bring into your practice. They could be positive affirmations, prayers, deep heart longings. Feeling those intentions deep within the heart space. And then we'll softly open the eyes. We're going to be taking a breath uh, exercise technique uh, called Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breath. We'll be working our pranayama. And um, I demonstrate a certain way. There are different ways to do alternate nostril breath. So if you have a preferred way, please feel free to take that. So we're gonna start with the right hand up and we're gonna take the peace sign fingers down. We're gently gonna close off the right nostril with the thumb and then we'll take a deep inhale through the left and a complete exhale through the left. And now you'll switch, you'll take your ring finger closing off the left and then inhale fully through the right Exhale fully through the right. We'll switch again. We're going to continue with this pattern. Full inhale and exhale. And 
and then you're going to switch. Maybe allow the eyes to close now, finding your rhythm, your pace. We're going to continue for another minute. Nadi Shodhana is wonderful for balancing the right and left side of the body and the mind. Maybe you lengthen the breath a little bit more. Relax through the shoulders, the neck, and the jaw. A few more rounds here. The next time you exhale out the right nostril, you're going to bring the hands back down to the thighs and take some deep full breath in and out both nostrils now. I'm just taking a moment to notice the effects of alternate nostril breath, Nadi Shodhana. And we'll softly open the eyes. If you're in a cross-sit position, feel free to switch the, the legs here. We're going to do a few stretches. And in Virasana, if it's not feeling so good for you, maybe coming up and just taking the calf muscles and just moving them out of the way, maybe spreading the toes a little bit more. We're going to inhale the arms up and overhead, nice and tall, reaching the fingertips to the sky. And we're going to find that external rotation in the arms. We're going to engage the upper outer arms, the triceps. The biceps roll a little bit more towards the side of the head or the ears. You're trying to relax through the sides of the neck. Maybe the pinky side edges of the hands come towards the head. We're reaching a little bit more and then noticing what happens to those ribs, those bottom ribs pop out. So you're going to go ahead and exhale, just drawing those front ribs in, solidifying through the torso. One more full breath here, super strong arms. We're going to interlace the hands here. We're going to take the palms to the sky or the ceiling. We're going to do 10 head taps, just warming up through those shoulders. We're going to go ahead and tap up and down here. Just warming up. Seems simple, but it's really nice to warm up the arms this way. Moving with your breath. Three more. Two. And one. Bringing the arms back up. Back to the external rotation. And then exhale the hands all the way down. We're going to take the right arm across the chest. We're going to get a nice stretch through the anterior deltoid in the shoulder, a little bit into the tricep. And then we're going to take that right elbow to the ceiling. Take that left hand, reach for the elbow, get a nice little tennis stretch here. Again, notice what the front ribs want to do. And then go ahead and draw them in, engaging that core. And then we'll exhale, release the right hand down. Left arm will come across the chest, getting a nice stretch around that left interior deltoid and tricep and then left elbow to the sky right hand reaching for the elbow reaching down with that left hand drawing the front ribs in getting a nice tricep stretch and then exhale release the hands all the way down we're going to go ahead and release our cross sit or our virasana you're going to move the block off to the side we're going to come into our toe squat so we're going to go ahead and tuck those toes under and we're going to start up on our knees and if it's comfortable for you i'm going to invite you to come down onto the heels you're going to get a lot of sensation in the pose as we stretch through the toes and through every area of the foot i'm going to have you take your arms out again you can always come up onto the knees if you need to here take your arms out in front we're going to cross them like an x 
And then your palms are gonna come together, interlace the fingers. We're gonna take a calming arm twist. We're gonna go ahead and bring the fist into center and then exhale out. Inhale in, exhale out. Taking a few more rounds here. I learned this trick from my daughter's second grade teacher. She used to do this with her students before exams or tests to help her students remain calm. So crossing the midline of the body with the lens and bringing this action is very relaxing and calming to the mind. One more round. We're gonna go ahead and release. We're gonna go ahead and release the toes. If you need to shake them out a little bit, feel free to do so. Coming into tabletop position on hands and knees. We're gonna come into our cow cat here. You wanna make sure the shoulders over the wrist, the hips are over the knees and the toes are relaxed behind you. We're gonna inhale, bring the head and the heart forward. And then exhale, draw the navel to spine and round through the upper back. Continuing here with your breath. Now five more full rounds. Feel free to invite any other movement that you would like. You can take the hips side to side or big hip circles. Beginning to create space and length into the spine. Linking our breath with our movement. Let it feel good. If something feels particularly nice in your practice, feel free to hold it. Again, this is your practice. We're gonna find neutral tabletop. We're gonna take extended tabletop, so that right leg is gonna come up and back, a nice flex into the foot, and I really want you to work the action of creating a wall here with that left thigh and hip. So you got a wall there, you're not moving, you're lifting. The right leg to comfort, a nice flex. You're pushing through the right palm, navel in, and that left arm's gonna come forward, thumb to the sky. It's a really active pose here. Everything is engaging. You're pushing the right hand away, shoulder heads draw back, gauging everything, working your balance here. You're welcome to stay. We're gonna take three core crunches. As you exhale, the elbow will come in towards the knee. Inhale, back out, slow and mindful. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale back. Exhale, elbow to knee. Beautiful job. Extend at the same time the hand and knee come down. Find your neutral tabletop. We're gonna take that on the other side. Inhaling the left leg back, a nice flex into the foot. Left thigh drops down. So you have a neutral pelvis. That low back is nice and stable. You're hugging in like a wall on that right side. You're gonna root through the left hand this time, right arm forward, thumb to the sky. Shoulder heads are drawing back. You're engaging the navel to spine, low belly draws in. Push away with that left hand. Nice flex into that back foot. It's like you're hitting that back wall. Full deep breaths. You're welcome to stay here. We're gonna take those core crunches as you exhale, elbow into knee. Inhale back. Two more rounds here, elbow to knee. Inhale back. Elbow to knee, last time. Inhale back. At the same time, the knee and the hand come back down to the mat. So good. We're gonna take puppy dog pose. We're gonna take both arms forward. And we're going to try to reach the forehead to the mat. If that doesn't work for you, feel free to take a blanket or a block under the forehead. I want really strong arms here. So the hips are over the knees. You're engaging the navel, but we really want strong arms. So push your hands into the mat or the floor. Turn on the triceps, the upper outer arms. Biceps are drawing closer towards your ears. Notice what happens with the hands here. Root through all the areas of the hands, especially the base of the index finger and the thumb area that tends to lift. One more breath. Super strong arms. 
We're going to go ahead and inhale and rise. We're going to draw the hands back for half plank. So I'm going to take my knees back a little bit. I'm going to shift the shoulders over the wrist. The knees can be whatever stance works best for your body. We're going to exhale halfway down. The elbows come straight back. So you're working the triceps, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, child's pose. Let's do that again. Inhaling, half plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Halfway. Inhale up. Exhale, child's pose. Three more rounds here. Inhaling, half plank. Exhale, hug the elbows in. Halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale down, dog, or <laughs> child's pose. Two more rounds. Inhaling, half plank. Exhale, chaturanga, halfway, elbows in. Inhale up. Exhale, balasana, child's pose. One more round here, warming up the shoulders and the upper arms. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, child's pose. We're going to inhale and rise, preparing for downward facing dog. Tucking the toes under. As you exhale, the hips will come up and back. It's like an upside down V. And I want you to really turn on your arms here. Push the hands into the mat. Push the hands away. As you do that, tops of the thighs are drawing back and up. So feel everything turn on here. Triceps are turned on, biceps are rotating closer towards the ears, rooted through every area of the hand, super strong arms. We're gonna go ahead and bend into that left knee, grounding the right heel towards the mat a little bit more. Feel a nice stretch into the back of the leg. One more breath. And then we're going to go ahead and switch. You're going to go ahead and ground the left heel down and bend into the right knee as much as you need. Pushing the hands away. Sometimes the hands get slippery. You can always place a little towel underneath the hands. One more full breath. Let the head go. Relax the jaw. And then full downward facing dog. We're going to take the feet about as wide as the mat now. We're going to walk the hands back for a short down dog twist. We're going to root the right hand in the middle of the mat. We're going to take the left hand to the outside of that right calf or ankle or foot, wherever you can get. You're going to stay neutral with the hips and you're going to go ahead and twist looking underneath the right armpit. So work with your breath here. As you inhale, you're going to lengthen, get some space. Then exhale, find a little more twist into the spine, keeping the hips nice and neutral, just working through the spinal area. Relax the head. One more full breath, let it feel good. You're gonna go ahead and return that left hand back to center. We'll switch sides, left hand will root this time. Right hand reaching for the calf, shin, ankle, foot, whatever feels best for you. Keeping that lower back safe, hips neutral. As you exhale, really looking underneath that left armpit. More breaths here. Let it feel nice as we stretch through the lats in the back, opening up through the spine. One more full breath. We're turning back to center. The hands are going to come back towards the feet. You're going to heel toe the feet back to center. Generous bend into the knees. Hands to the hips on the next inhale at the flat back. You're going to come up to standing. Nice work. So we're going to come to about the middle of our mat. We're going to work some quarter sun salutations. So finding Tadasana to start, I like my feet in closer, but hip width distance, whatever distance feels great for your body. 
Finding a point of focus in front of you, evenly balanced through the feet. We're gonna inhale the arms up and overhead. We're gonna interlace at the top. The index finger extends to the sky, and then we're gonna take standing half moon, coming over to the right as you exhale. Taking another deep breath here, lengthening through the side waist, and then exhale, finding a nice stretch. We're gonna inhale the center. Exhale over towards that left side. Feel a nice opening, another round of breath. We're gonna inhale back to center, exhale the hands behind the back. We're gonna interlace them and draw the shoulders away from the ears, opening up through the neck. So we're gonna take the right ear to right shoulder and be gentle with yourself here. You're gonna feel a nice opening along the left side of the neck and the trapezius down through the shoulder and arm. Maybe you close your eyes here, just soften a little bit more through the jaw. And then we'll exhale the chin into the chest. Let everything go. And then we'll take the left ear to left shoulder. Again, notice the opening along the right side, trapezius, shoulder and arm. And then the chin to the chest. Let everything go. And then we'll softly bring the head back to center, the arms to the sides. We're gonna be taking three rounds of our half sun salutations. And I really want you to effort through the arms through these three rounds. I want you to imagine that you're standing in a pot of honey and those arms have to work extra hard to come up and down. So we're gonna go ahead and inhale the arms up and overhead, finding that external rotation. And then exhale, forward fold. It's like pushing through sticky honey as you come all the way down. Inhaling for the half lift. Hands come to the outsides of the shins so you don't hyperextend. And then exhale, fold, let everything go. Stay rooted through the feet, strong arms bring you all the way up, engage those triceps and biceps. Exhale, hands to heart, the front ribs hug in. Two more rounds, inhaling, efforting through the arms, going through that thick honey. Exhale, forward fold at the hip crease. Those arms really push all the way down. Inhaling for the half lift. Exhale, fold. Root to the feet, strong arms bring you up. Exhale, hands to heart. Front ribs knit in together. One more round. Strong, strong arms lifting up. Exhale, forward fold. Tops of the thighs are pushing back. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Root to the feet, sweep the arms strongly up and overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Beautiful work. We're gonna come a little bit closer to the tops of the mat, just making sure you have your blocks nearby. We're gonna add on here. We're gonna inhale the arms up and overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling for your half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. We're gonna take the right leg back. We have a low lunge. We're gonna ground the right knee to the mat. If you need a blanket, feel free to grab it. We're gonna inhale the arms up and overhead. The back toes can be flat or tucked. Whatever works best for your body, we're gonna hug into midline here. So we're gonna start with the lower body. That left thigh is drawing down and under, and you're staying rooted through the front foot, especially through the big toe and the inner arch. We're finding that external rotation. We're engaging those triceps, the biceps. Roll in, navel draws to spine. The front ribs are hugging in. Really strong pose as we work with those muscles. And then we're gonna go ahead and exhale the hands to the mat. We're gonna find our blocks for a low lunge lizard. If you don't need blocks, feel free to skip that. I'm gonna go ahead and take my right leg back a little bit more, opening up through the hip flexor. And we're gonna hold here for five full breaths. You're welcome to stay upright onto the hands. You can come down onto the forearms, being mindful of that front knee, making sure it's comfortable for you as we keep it over the ankle over time just protecting our joints. And relax, particularly 
through the jaw here. Notice where you hold tension. As we release the jaw, we actually, there's some connections neurologically that help relax through the hips and the hip flexors and the psoas. As we can keep that jaw relaxed, we'll keep that area relaxed as well. One more full breath. If you're down on the forearms, you're going to go ahead and rise back up onto the hands. We're going to take our blocks with us, taking half split. We're going to flex through the left foot, toes to nose. We're going to take a nice deep inhale. Keep that space between the pelvis and thigh as you extend the spine forward. Now root your heel a little bit more into the mat and energetically the heel draws back towards that left glute, just giving you a little more opening in the hamstring and more extension in the spine. Navel is engaged to spine, protecting your low back. One more full breath here. We're gonna inhale up and we're gonna hover that left foot a couple inches off the mat. We're gonna hold, building strength into the hip flexor, a little bit into the outer hip. You got this. Five, four, three, two, maybe you lift a little higher, one. Bringing the foot down, we're gonna ground the foot to the mat. Blocks will return to the top of the mat. We're gonna release that right knee off the mat, low lunge. We're gonna be taking three-legged downward facing dog. So the left leg is gonna come up to the sky, a nice flex into the foot, neutral positioning, hugging in with that right thigh and hip. We're gonna keep this position, we're gonna bend into the left knee so the bottom of the left foot reaches to the sky. You're not opening up through the hip. And we're gonna to try to reach that left knee a little bit higher to the sky, getting a nice strength and stretch. One more full breath. We'll extend the leg back out long and to the mat, downward facing dog. Working through our Ardha Vinyasa, inhaling into plank pose. Exhaling to the belly for the first round through Chaturanga. Releasing the tops of the feet, rooting through the feet, kneecaps lift, elbows in, low cobra as you inhale. Exhale down. Tuck the toes. You're going to lift through your plank. Exhale downward facing dog. Nice work. We're going to float the right leg up and back, three-legged downward facing dog. We're going to take that knee in towards the nose. That right foot's going to come up between the hands for your low lunge. We're going to release the left knee to the mat. We're going to inhale up for crescent B pose. Again, those back toes can be released or tucked. You're hugging into midline, finding your balance. You have those strong arms, triceps and biceps turn on. That right thigh is drawing down and back in, rooting through the front big foot, especially the big toe and inner arch. One more full breath, finding your focus. We'll take the hands to the mat. We're gonna grab our blocks for low lunge lizard on this side. Taking that left thigh back to comfort, getting the opening into the hip flexor, the inner thigh, the outer hips. And again, coming down where you'd like. Five full breaths here. Still being mindful of that front knee. Relax the head, the neck, and again, really the jaw. Beginning to bring more awareness to that area, how much we hold in the jaw and how it affects the hips, the psoas, the hip flexors. One more deep full breath. We're gonna go ahead and inhale, come back up. We're gonna find our half split, Ardha Hanuman. You're gonna flex through the right foot. Again, that upright spine, you're gonna keep space between the pelvis and the thigh. Toes to nose, finding that extension. You can always micro bend into the knee, rooting the right heel into the mat. Energetically, the right heel draws back to that right glute, getting more extension and opening. One more full breath. One 
We're gonna inhale, rise. We're gonna hover that right foot a couple inches off the mat, strengthening through the hip flexor, getting some nice work there. See if you can hold it. Five, four, three, two, maybe lift one more, one, and back down. Good job. We're gonna go ahead and release the foot down, returning back to low lunge. So grounding the hands, lifting the back knee up, three-legged downward facing dog. Right leg's gonna come up and back. You're hugging in with that left thigh and hip. You have neutral positioning, so you're supporting through the low back. Hands are pushing away, you got those active arms. You're gonna bend into the right knee, so the bottom of the right foot faces the sky in a neutral position and try to lift that knee a little higher to the sky. Open up a little bit more through the front of that thigh and hip flexor. One more full breath. Extend that right leg back out and down to the mat. Downward facing dog. Ardha Vinyasa. Inhaling to plank pose. Exhale through Chaturanga. Feel free to take that low cobra. I'm gonna come into upward facing dog. Strong legs wherever you're at. If you're in low cobra, you'll transition through your half or full plank, and we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Strong hands pushing into the mat, away, triceps turning on. We're gonna bend into the knees, everyone. You're gonna gaze forward at the end of the exhale. You're gonna step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale for the half lift, and exhale, fold. Inhale, strong arms bring you up. Exhale, hands to heart, front ribs knit together. So good. We're going to take two classic rounds of Sun Salutation A. I'm going to be guiding stepping back. If you have a jump back practice, jump forward, or a handstand practice, feel free to take that. Finding the top of the mat, arms to the sides. Inhaling the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhaling, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the hands, the right leg will come back. Followed by the left, you're in plank pose. Exhale, through Chaturanga. Inhaling, low cobra, up dog, strong legs, strong arms. If you're in low cobra, you'll transition through half or full plank. All of us will meet in Downward Facing Dog. That left foot will come up between the hands, followed by the right. Inhaling, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Root to the feet, sweep the arms up. Urdhva Hasta in Tadasana. Exhale, hands to heart. Samasti Tihi. One more side. Inhaling up, exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhaling, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, the, plant, the hands will plant, left leg back this time, followed by the right, here in plank pose. Exhale, elbows hug in, Chaturanga. Low cobra up, dog on the inhale, strong legs. If you're in low cobra, you'll transition through your half or full plank. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. And the right foot will come up between the hands, followed by the left. Inhaling, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhaling, arms sweep up, Urdhva Hasta and Tadasana. Exhale, hands to heart. Samasti Tihi. All right, so we're going to add on here, everybody. We're going to inhale into Utkatasana, fierce pose. So you're getting that squat going on. Weight into the heels. Glutes are dropping down. Now see if you can shift your shins back in space. Frontal hip points lift. Now find those strong arms again. Triceps are turning on. Finding that external rotation, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhaling for your half lift. Exhale, planting the hands, we're gonna take the right leg back. We're in low lunge. We're gonna prepare for crescent pose, super slow. That left thigh is drawing back and in. 
You're hugging into midline. You're keeping a little space between the pelvis and the thigh. I'm gonna go ahead and lift the hands just a couple inches off of the mat. You have that strong back leg pushing back. Arms by the ears, strong, strong arms. Now lifting up with all the strength that you have into crescent pose. Anjaneyasana. Settling in here. Maybe you bend a little bit more into the front knee. Come up more onto those ball of the back foot. Finding nice solid torso as those ribs hug in. And then those arms turn on. From here, we're going to be transitioning into warrior three with the arms straight forward. If that's not good for your body, you can draw the arms back like airplane wings or to heart center. So I'm going to shift and lift. My arms are going to come forward. You might have some barriers like me, the wall there. I'm going to have a strong leg. I'm dropping down with that right thigh, micro bend into the left knee, hugging in with that left thigh and hip. One more full breath. And we're going to go ahead and take the hands to the mat for standing splits. You're going to gaze back. You're going to look at your leg. Looks like the letter L. So you really want to keep a neutral uh, pelvis protecting the low back. If you want a deeper standing split, you can walk the hands back. Take the left hand behind the calf and draw your forehead towards the shin. If you'd like to take three handstand hops here, feel free to work that. We're working a lot into that standing leg, so you can feel free to try to find some hang time. One more. Nice job. All right, we're going to come back the way we came. So really working that left leg and that outer hip. You're going to come back to warrior three and then crescent pose. Ah, good work. You're gonna take the hands to the mat. The left leg will come back to plank. Actually, let's take three-legged dog with that left leg. We're gonna go ahead and bend into the left knee, taking that left knee to the sky, open up through the front of the leg, extend it back out, and downward facing dog. Now our Ardha Vinyasa, inhaling plank pose, Exhale, chaturanga, inhaling, low cobra, upward facing dog. Transitioning through half or full plank if you're in low cobra. Everyone exhaling, downward facing dog. Let's take a nice deep inhale here. And exhale. Noticing the difference from the right and the left leg. As you're ready, we're going to float the right leg up and back. Three-legged dog. Take that right foot up between the hands. Low lunge. Drawing that right thigh back and in. Strong left leg. Working into crescent slowly. Lifting the hands a couple inches off the mat. Find that space between your thigh and pelvis. Arms by the ears. Using the strength of the legs, the arms, and the core. Lifting all the way up. Anjaneyasana, crescent pose. Maybe you bend a little bit more into the knee. You lift up back onto that ball of the back foot, making those adjustments. Feel it in your body. I'm gonna adjust back here so I have room. We're gonna be transitioning into our warrior three shape. So you're gonna shift and lift. The back leg lifts. You hug in with that right thigh and hip. That back foot is flex kicking the wall, dropping down with that left thigh or right, yeah, left thigh. You got this, working really hard in that right leg. Draw navel to spine. One more breath, see if you can hold it. And take the hands to the mat, standing split. Ah, gazing back, relax the head. Your legs are like an L shape. Right thigh is like a little wall there for you. If you want, you walk the hands back. Take the right hand behind the right calf. Hug it in. Opportunity for three handstand hops. Maybe you find some air time here. Really working that right leg. Left leg is just kind of a lever. One more. 
Nice job. Coming back down to standing splits. We're gonna come back the way we came. You got this. Back up into warrior three. Strong arms, strong legs. And then reaching back. Crescent pose. So good. Hands will come to the mat. Right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Bend into the right knee. Take that knee a little bit more to the sky. Open, open, open. Extend the leg out. Downward facing dog. Art of Vinyasa, you're welcome to stay here. Inhaling, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows in. Inhaling, low cobra, upward facing dog. Broaden through the collarbones. Transitioning through your plank if you're in low cobra. We all meet in down dog. Full deep inhale. And exhale. We're gonna inhale into plank pose, everybody. We're gonna make our way down to forearm plank. So if you need to drop to the knees, feel free to do so. Holding our forearm plank for a minute. So you want your body to be level here. The butt's not to the sky. And if this is challenging already, feel free to drop a knee down and alternate. We're gonna hold here, frontal hip points lift, collarbones widen, really working through our shoulders, strong core, lengthening the tailbone towards the heels, full deep breath. You've got this, maybe three more deep full breaths. Noticing what needs to turn on, what needs to relax, maybe that jaw, the neck, one more breath. We're going to find dolphin pose from here. Root through the forearms, butt to the sky. Draw the feet in like a down dog. Those the elbows are grounded. The forearms are grounded. If you can, release the head and neck. You're welcome to stay here. We're going to do a leg lift on each side. If you have pincha myarasana inversion in your practice, feel free to take that now. So those are with me. We're gonna flip the right leg up and back. You're hugging in with that left thigh and hip, keeping neutral pelvis. We'll take that right leg down. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Holding, hugging in with that right thigh and hip, gauging everything. Bring the foot down. If you're upside down, you're gonna transition back down. Now, last few breaths here. Turn on those triceps. Gauge those arms. Root through the hands. Gently bring the knees to the mat. Child's pose. Everybody. Arms can be forward or back. Full deep breaths. Steady the breath. Noticing energy moving through your body. The aliveness of your body. Reflecting on your five most beautiful things in your world right now. Honoring any intentions you've set for your practice. Two more deep full breaths. As you are ready, we're going to rise back up into tabletop and downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. From downward facing dog, we're going to place a bend into the knees. You're going to gaze forward. You're going to step or float to the top of the mat. Inhaling for your half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhaling up into Utkatasana, fierce pose. Squatting down. Shin shift back, frontal hip points lift, strong, strong arms. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart, front rib second. Good work, everybody. All right, so from here, we're going to grab our strap. We're going to work into a forward fold with a shoulder stretch. It doesn't have to have a loop in it, but if you'd like to have a loop for our next posture, you can go ahead and loop up your strap. All right, so I'll go ahead and demonstrate sideways here on the mat. I got something on my mat. We're gonna go ahead and take a nice Prasarita Padottanasana. 
We're gonna combine it with a Gomu Kasana stretch through the arms and shoulders. So I'm gonna take the strap, drape it over the right shoulder. I'm gonna take my arms out to the side. Right arm's gonna come to the sky in the external rotation, reaching back for the strap. Left hand will reach back, internal rotation, finding the strap. Noticing what's happening to the ribs. Draw those front ribs in. Take a nice deep inhale, keeping the elbows back. We're gonna forward fold halfway to start. If you need to take your stance wider, feel free to take that. Keeping the elbows back, engaging the arms as you're reaching for the strap. If you don't need the strap, feel free to interlace the fingers together. And then if you can, we'll continue to fold a little bit more, bringing the weight more into the balls of the feet. Relax the head and neck, draw the shoulders back, engage all the muscles onto the back. One more full breath. I'm gonna go ahead and inhale, arise all the way up. Pause for a moment, gently releasing the bottom arm and then the top arm. Just taking a moment to circle through the shoulders. Then we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna take the strap over to the left shoulder. Arms will come out. Left arm will come up into external rotation, reaching for the strap. Right arm, palm will face back, internal rotation. Now there's usually a big difference right and left with this posture, with the things that go on in our body. Honor your body here, drawing those elbows back, taking a nice deep inhale, we'll forward fold halfway to start. Notice how that feels on your shoulders and the arms. Things are going well and you can keep those elbows drawn back, shoulder heads drawn back, then you can forward fold a little bit more. Relax the head and neck. One more full breath. And then we'll go ahead and inhale all the way up, gently releasing the bottom arm and the top arm. Great work. We're gonna be working into dancer's pose now. We're gonna do a dancer's pose prep, and then we're gonna be using the strap, working with overhead arms today and looping the, ball, the back of the foot so that we can grab onto the strap. If you are a dancer and you're able to hold on to your feet, don't need the strap. Okay, so we're gonna work with dancer's prep to begin. It's a great exercise to focus our energy and just realize how much energy we use, sometimes in standing postures, and how hard it is to hold them. We're gonna take the right arm out to the side, palm face up like a serving platter you're holding. You're gonna bend into the right knee and you're gonna reach back for the inside of the ankle, the foot, anything you wanna grab. The foot can be pointed or flexed, it doesn't matter. And then you wanna hug the knee in close to where the other knee is. Left arm up to the sky. Palm can be out, it can be in, whatever feels great for you. We've been working external rotation, so I'm gonna go ahead and have the palm in. We're just gonna hold here. So let that right ankle really drop into the right hand so you feel a nice stretch. Again, along the right shoulder and arm Frontal hip points lift here. See if you can find a little bit of opening through the hip flexors and the psoas. Point of focus really rooted through that standing leg. The firm is rooted. You might feel a little wobbly or shaky. That's normal. Left arm, feel like the fingertips are reaching towards the sky, getting a super lengthening through the left side. A few more breaths here. You guys got this. Can you be okay with a little stillness, efforting in it? One more breath. And you gently want to release, shake it out. So we're going to take that on the other side and then we'll work into our full dancer's pose. Left arm out to the side, palm up like a, you're holding a serving platter bending into the knee, and you're gonna reach back for the inside of the foot or ankle. Letting that knee be in the same alignment as the other knee, right arm to the sky. So I wanna let that left ankle and leg be heavy into the hand, get that nice stretch along the left side of the body. 
Right leg is working hard, rooting through the mat. Right fingers to the sky. Frontal hip points lift. Feel that nice stretch. Relaxing through the jaw, the neck. Tuned in to the sound of your own breath. Let your breath be a meditation, your breath of life flowing freely. One more full breath. We're gently going to release the leg down, the arm down, shake it out, making any movement that you need. I'm gonna reach for my strap. You don't have to have a loop, but for me, I feel like it's helpful to just stay on my foot. You can just wrap the strap around the foot. So we're gonna take the full variation of dancers. I'm gonna go ahead and loop the foot or bring the strap around the foot. And then the rest of the strap parts come behind me in the center of my spine. And then I'm going to find my elbows bent, my arms reaching back for the strap as much as it feels comfortable. My ribs want to pop out. And that's part of the arch here of the pose as we back bend here. We're just going to solidify by drawing those bottom ribs in, finding a little bit more um, stability into the torso. And we're going to begin by taking that knee straight back, similar to what we were doing in our three-legged dog, taking the knee to the sky. You can flex or point that foot, whatever feels best for your hamstring, really bringing that leg straight back, not opening through the hip, but keep it neutral for your back. You're gonna work that left leg like crazy, hug it in, micro bend into the knee is good and normal, and then feel free to just kick back as much as you'd like here. Maybe you come a little bit forward, but the heart is aiming forward, broadening through the collar. One more full breath. And then returning back. And just being mindful of your knees in this pose. If it feels like it's too much pulling, then ease up a little bit on that. We'll take it to the other side. See what happens? Again, this pose can vary a lot side to side, just like most of our postures. Our body is very asymmetrical. All right, so find that nice positioning to start. Feel really solid and stable through the standing leg. And then as you're ready, you're going to take that left leg back, really opening up through the front of the leg, opening up through your chest and shoulders here, hugging in with that right thigh hip, kicking back, not opening the hip, keeping it neutral. It's so hard. Heart reaching forward, gaze forward, not down. Find your range of motion, a few more breaths here. And as you're ready, we're gonna release. Good work, everybody. Release it, shake it out. Ah, so we're gonna find a wall that's close by to you. We're gonna be taking puppy dog at the wall. So I'm gonna use this wall here. I'm gonna stand back. I'm gonna take my hands to the wall and I'm gonna find a nice lengthening through my spine. Feet a little wider, a little bit into my knees, frontal hip points lift. Good stretch for my arms and my spine. Should feel really, really nice. Two more breaths here. I'm gonna go ahead and walk back up. If that feels really good, you wanna hold it, feel free. We're gonna be taking standing figure four. If you need the wall for balance, feel free to use it. We're gonna start with that left foot crossing over the right thigh, and we're gonna squat down here. So you can keep the hands to the hips, you can stay here, you can have fingertips to a wall. If you want a deeper opening in that right hip, and you're gonna feel a little in the left as well, you can take the hands down to blocks or the mat. If you have flying pigeon in your practice, feel free to take it here. It's an arm balance where that right leg comes back as you wrap that left foot around the tricep. 
feel free to take that. I'm just going to get a nice stretch today. And if you want a little bit more, you can always straighten through that right leg a little bit. Two more full breaths. Try to use the strength of that leg if you're folded over to come all the way back up and release the foot. Shake it out. We'll take that to the other side. We'll take the right foot, cross it over the left thigh, bend into the left knee. So hands can stay at the hip. You can hold on to the tops of the thigh. If you want more, you're gonna go ahead and take the fingertips down. Get a nice stretch here. And the right end lift outer hip. Flying pigeon, if you did on the first side, feel free to take it on the second side. I like to offer options for all levels in my classes. So feel free to have fun, try them out. Honor your body each and every day as it shows up different. As you're ready, we're gonna come on up and bring the foot to the mat, shake it out. All right, we're gonna be coming into Malasana squat for about five full breaths and then transitioning into full Gomukhasana pose, cow face. So we will be using our strap again. So have that nearby and have a block nearby for after that. So we're gonna go ahead and transition into our squat. Feet can be facing forward or out to the side, whatever works best for your hips and thighs. We're gonna go ahead and come on down. Always a great posture to come into to release the low back. Today I'm gonna to have you really engaging the arms. Push the arms into the inner thighs, resist there, really engaging our arms, that focus again today. Strengthening through um, the shoulders, through our internal, external rotation. Ah. Two more full breaths here. Expanding through the collarbones, lengthening the tailbone down. And then we're gonna go ahead and make our way on to our seat. All right, so Gomukhasana pose. We're gonna start with the right leg on top of the left. Now, ideally, the posture is stacking the knees. It doesn't work for a lot of bodies. Um, for some bodies, it may look like this for you. If this just doesn't feel right for you, feel free to just take a regular cross-sitted position as we work the opening in the shoulders. So you're gonna, if you have the leg variation, you are gonna flex through the feet, maybe bringing the feet out a little bit more to find more opening into the outer hips. And we're gonna go ahead and take our strap over the left shoulder. So similar to what we did in our forward fold, Prasthirita Padottanasana, the arms will come out. We're gonna take the left arm up in external rotation, reaching back for the strap. The right hand, the palm will reach back, internal rotation, finding the strap. Trying to find a nice positioning where you can draw those elbows back. So again, opening a lot through the shoulders and the arms here and the outer hips. There's a lot of sensation in this pose. So I want you to breathe through it. If you wanna, you're welcome to stay here if this is enough. If you need a little bit more, we're gonna go ahead and extend through the spine for a forward fold. Again, a lot of sensation, breathing into the outer hips and the shoulders and relaxing that jaw. That's gonna help. Three more deep full breaths. Last round of breath. On your inhale, your rise, if you're folded over, gently releasing the bottom arm and the top arm. Just pausing there for a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and release the strap. We're gonna be switching sides. I'm gonna teach you a swivel. It's kind of fun for Gomukhasana pose. Um, if you wanna just watch and see how it goes, we're gonna be turning to the left and finding the position on the other side. So I'm gonna ground my feet as I bring my hands down, turn to the left, Come around, spin around, and then the other knee should be on top. Just a fun little move. All right, so finding Gomakasana on this side. Again, if this is not working for your body, it may look like this, or you can take a different cross sit. All right, finding a good 
uh, placement for the feet, a little flex into the feet. We'll take the strap over the right shoulder this time. Arms out to the side. We're going to inhale the right arm, external rotation, reaching back. Left arm, palm back, reaching back for the strap. Ah. Noticing how this feeling on this side, if things are going well and you want to take a forward fold, we'll take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, extended spine, navel drawing in, still engaging that core, protecting your low back. Again, breathe into all the feelings you have in your body right now. There's a lot of sensation, a lot of movement. A lot of stretching, a lot of engaging. And just being present with the breath. Three more full rounds. One more. Inhaling on up, gently releasing the bottom arm and the top arm. Releasing the strap. You're going to want to have a block as we prepare to come down onto our mat. We're going to be working a four-part sit-up or crunch to work our core. We're going to do 10 of those, and then we'll be working into some nice stretching for the hip flexors and the outer hips as well. So we're going to go ahead and just shake it out here, have a block nearby. We're going to go ahead and come down onto our backs. Our knees are bent. So this four part uh, sit up is a little tricky in regards to the breath work, but once we have it, it's really, really effective engaging every part of the core as well as strengthening through the hip flexors. So if you have that block, we're going to bring it in between the inner thighs. I'm going to demonstrate the first round, then I'll guide you through uh, the nine other rounds that we're going to be doing. Hopefully I can keep count. So I'm going to take a nice deep inhale. As I exhale, I'm going to crunch up. As I inhale, I'm going to extend my legs out. And then as I exhale, I'm going to ground the feet, crunch a little bit more. And then inhale back down. All right, here we go. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, legs extend, press into the block. Exhale, feet ground, crunch a little bit more. And then inhale back. So good. Here we go, round three. Exhale up. Inhale, legs extend. Exhale, feet ground, crunch a little bit more. Inhale back. All right, fourth round. Exhale up, inhale, feet extend, exhale, feet ground, crunch a little bit more, inhale back. All right, we got this. Exhale up, inhale, legs extend, exhale, feet ground, crunch a little bit more, inhale back. I think we got five more, everybody. Exhale up. Inhale, feet extend, hug into the block. Exhale, feet ground, crunch a little bit more. And inhale back. Should be feeling it about right now. Exhale up. Inhale, legs extend, stay with me. Feet ground, exhale up. Inhale back. Exhale up. Inhale, legs extend, hug in. Exhale, feet ground, crunch. Inhale back. All right, let's do two more. Exhale up. Inhale, feet extend. Exhale, feet ground, crunch more. And inhale back. Oh, last round, we got this. Exhale up. Inhale, legs extend. Ground the feet, exhale a little bit more. And release. Ah. If you did those correctly, you should have felt them for sure. Go ahead and take a full body stretch. Keep your block nearby. You can release it though. Oh, yes. We're going to take the right knee into the chest and we're going to interlace the hands behind that right hamstring. So we're going to get a nice little lengthening here through the right leg. So I want you to push the hamstring into the interlaced hand. So it's like that right leg is sitting in a chair. You got to bend into the knee and you're flexing that foot forward. 
So really, really push the hamstring into the arms, really get some resistance opening up through the top of that thigh. And then you're gonna take the heel to the sky, push, push, push that leg, trying to break that interlace, push, 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 push. Release the interlace slowly and controlled, leading with that right heel, bringing the leg all the way down to the mat. And then relax, let everything go. Notice the difference between right and left leg. Kind of feels like that right leg's a little longer. All right, let's do that to the left side. Left knee will draw into the chest. Interlace the hands behind the hamstring. Push the hamstring into the hands. Push, 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 push. It's like that left leg is in a chair. Push, 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 push. Resist, 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 lengthen through that left side body. Lift. Bring the heel to the sky, push, 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 resist, resist. You're trying to release that interlace. Gently release the hands and bring a lot of resistance as you come down. Left heels reaching forward. Reach, 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 reach. And the foot will come to the mat and let everything go. Relax. Noticing how the legs feel, tops of the thighs. Ah, so from here, you're going to reach for your block. We're going to bend into the knees, ground the feet into the mat. We're going to take a supported bridge with a psoas release for the front of the hip flexors. So we're going to go ahead and lift up the hips and pelvis. The flat level of the block is going to come underneath the lower back, the sacrum. And you're going to rest the lower back here. And if this is good for you today, feel free to stay here. If your lower back has some issues, I would not recommend the next shape I'm going to offer. If your low back is healthy, I would encourage you to try this beautiful, yummy variation of supported bridge. So I'm gonna extend the right heel forward. I'm gonna feel a nice opening into that front of the hip flexor. Feels really good. If that's doing well, you can try both legs at the same time. If that's too much sensation or rounding into the lower back, then you're going to go ahead and draw one foot out at a time and alternate. So we're going to be here for about five deep full breaths, really allowing a nice opening here deep into the hip flexor muscles. Let the eyes close beginning to relax, coming into a nice relaxing breath technique, pranayama, of our one to two ratio breath. So noticing what your natural inhale count is and doubling out the exhale. As we lengthen our exhalation, we naturally calm the body and our nervous system. Two more deep full breaths. If you have the legs ex extended, we're going to place a bend into both knees, grounding the feet down, pausing here for a breath. And then we're gently gonna lift the hips and pelvis off of the block, removing the block off to the side. We're gonna take a pinwheel twist from here. If you have another twist that you would like to take, feel free to take it. Arms are gonna come out to the side. We're gonna take our feet a little bit wider than hip width distance. And we're gonna take both knees over to the right. Now you shouldn't feel any tugging into the knees, maybe a little sensation, but no sharp pains of any kind. So if this is too much for you, Take a different variation of a twist or just bring the knees back to center. So I, let, I find in this pinwheel twist, I get a little more opening into the hip flexors. It feels really nice into um, the front of the thigh, wrapping around into the glute. One more full breath on this side. We're gonna inhale the knees back to center and take both knees over towards the left. 
full deep breaths. Lengthening through the exhalation. Honoring once again your intentions for your practice and your five most beautiful things in your world right now. Let's be beauty seekers. Let's be grateful. No matter what the circumstances are around us or in us, we have a choice of what we focus on. One more breath. Inhaling back to center, taking the knees into the chest, rocking onto that lower back, side to side. If you wanna take a happy baby or any other uh, closing postures, take some time to do so now. We're gonna be preparing for Shavasana. I like to have a blanket over um, the of my body just as a little grounding and a little weight there feel free to roll up a blanket or a towel underneath the knees you can set up however you'd like just taking a moment here preparing your space for our final resting pose shavasana making sure your feet are a little bit wider than you normally would the arms are out to the sides the head and neck are comfortable feel free to bring a pillow or a blanket there Feeling your body against the mat, into the earth, feeling supported. I'm just going to guide you into one little relaxation technique. So we're going to go ahead and tighten and tense our entire body. So you're going to close the fist, tighten the arms, tighten the shoulders, the face all crunches up, tighten the feet, make everything super tight, hold in the breath. Lift the glutes maybe a little bit off the mat. Hold, hold, hold. Tighten even more, even more. Now let go. Let everything go. Let the body be heavy. Let the heart space light and buoyant, always ready to receive. Shavasana. Relaxing even more, releasing the jaw. Feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. If you are ready to arise, just drawing the attention to the breath. Noticing your breath of life flowing freely. Each breath a purpose. And bringing some gentle movement to fingers and toes. Rocking the head gently side to side. If it feels right, you can take a full body stretch. And 
when you're ready, we're going to be placing a bend into the knees, transitioning into a fetal position on either side. And just noticing here the effects of the practice. Body relaxed, mind calm, spirit at peace. Knowing you can come here at any time just by connecting with the breath, especially lengthening out the exhale. Taking all the goodness from your practice today into the rest of your day, staying calm and centered no matter what comes your way. As you're ready, we'll use the strength of the arms to make our way into a comfortable seat. Once you find that comfortable seat, we'll draw our hands into heart center, Anjali Mudra. Taking a few breaths here, honoring any intentions you've set. It's been a true honor and pleasure to guide you through your practice today. Thank you for sharing your beautiful presence with me. From the light within me, I honor and respect the light within you. Walk in grace and peace and shine bright, my friend. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. You can stay connected with me on my website, loveserveinspire.com. There's also a yoga nidra that goes along with this class that's posted, uh, Seeking Beauty Yoga Nidra. So feel free to take that, take that at a relaxing time in your day where you can get some balance to the different kinds of yoga practices. So again, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.